Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to the Fat Cat Collections. Today, guys, I want to do a video um, that I've been talking about doing for a while, and that is another Aragon video. So, uh, coming back to a lot of the watches I have in my collection that I've reviewed maybe about five, six years ago. Um, honestly, a lot of these videos, I do so many videos, I kind of forget about them sometimes. These watches get kind of tucked away into the safe. And, you know, like with any collection, there's always going to be ones that you wear more than others. Um, at the end of the day, they're still part of the collection. And, uh, you know, they're definitely, most of the time I don't part with any watches, you know, because there's always something I want to find, pick up, kind of reminisce about, and, and wear. You know, there's usually a story attached with most of these watches, right? Not a big, crazy story, but just, you know, kind of remember why I got them and when, for the most part. So today, um, I wanted to come back and put up fresh content for, again, the Aragon watches. Um, I have every Aragon watch I own right now, sitting here. And I get comments from you guys all the time. That, hey, do a you know a full watch state of the collection. I, I just don't. When I do a video, it has to be cost effective for me to do a video, like with anything else. And for me to put up a video, I like to spend as as little time as possible in making that content for a couple reasons. I know. Here I go talking. I'm gonna get to it. Okay. Um, it's because I don't want to spend two hours on a video editing all this stuff and doing all kinds of crazy stuff because ultimately at the end of the day you could have the best video and I know what YouTubers will give you guys different stories about this um, it ultimately comes down to the topic and when you start having like little kind of niche niche um, um, topics like this like Aragon watches it's not a huge thing like Rolex right you can do a Rolex video with those keywords and most likely you're going to get a lot more views than anything like this um, it is one of the most popular watch brands on earth, right? Um, and luxury just sells. People like to live through the lives of others. Uh, if you look at Instagram, that's all it is. It's rich kids, rich people showing off things that most people can never afford. Uh, yachts and, and crazy stuff, you know, or doing things that most people would never do, right? Dangerous acts and all kinds of stuff. So um, that's something that, you know, when I do a video, I'm not going to pull out, you know, I don't have a setup where I have all these watches set up in a display case for the world to just come in and steal. Uh, they're all locked up, you know, there's, uh, uh, I, you know, of course I layer all my security to prevent, you know, bad things from happening, but ultimately I don't want to pull out 150 watches to do a, this big long-winded video that may or may not produce any kind of revenue, any kind of sales, uh, and ultimately just be a waste of my time. Uh, so this video though, because um, the Aragon collection is not huge, uh, it's not like my Invicta collection, you know. Um, I, I have, what do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So two more than I thought I had. So I got 12 Invicta or Ar Aragon watches in my collection slash Android. I have a few Android watches. Android is the original name of Aragon. Uh, they changed their name as I don't know how long into the company. Uh, and a uh, little story, I short story. Um, I discovered Android because my dad, believe it or not, my non-flat, my dad, super normal, not flashy, over-the-top guy, dad. Um, he saw the Aragon or the Android version, the Silverjet, the original first-generation Silverjet on on one of the shop uh, commercials. He knew that I had picked up a uh, Invicta Venom for my first uh, big watch, my Venom watch, or my first Invicta watch. And uh, he always knew I like big face watches, and he bought himself one, and he got me one. And so very generous. Uh, I love the watch. One that I don't wear a lot, but it's, uh, it's a killer watch that started my journey with Aragon. Uh, so it was the Android name. Since then, I bought a few more. Then they changed names, and now it is the Aragon that we know today. I believe that that change happened because of some kind of legal issue with the name. I don't know if it was Google and Android operating system. Uh, I'm not sure who, who had it first. I've heard that Aragon or Android or Aragon did. And there was a settlement of some sort. Uh, I, that's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. And uh, they changed the name. So uh, I'm glad they did because it would be very confusing and to try to search for this stuff. I mean, just go ahead and search Android or yeah, Android Watch, and you'll get all kinds of smart watches. So it was a very wise, smart move. I'm glad they did it. I like the name Aragon a lot better. Um, and you know, a lot of times with uh, companies. Uh, branding's important, you know, and a lot of times, you know, there's a lot of really cool names out there, but there's some that, you know, that aren't really all that great, you know, that, um, you know, I'm not sure if it's a language barrier, because a lot of these watches do come from overseas, uh, but a lot of them have pretty terrible names, you know, uh, I don't want to pinpoint any, you know, uh, pick, any, pick on anybody, but Aragon's pretty cool. Um, 
Only downside to say that name is again, is a name that's Aragon's used in movies and you know, I think cartoons. Uh, and so it does get a little confusing. It would be even better for them to have, uh, in my opinion, picked a name that was extremely unique to their brand. There'd be no uh, question when you search for it, what came up in search results. But nonetheless, if you add watches to that, you'll, you'll find them, not a big deal. Um, so let's talk about what we got today. So I'm not gonna do these in any kind of order. Um, I am gonna start with, uh, let's see here. I'll start with the big boys, right? So I have uh, two, uh, three 55 millimeter, uh, I'm just gonna, re when I refer to these, I'm just gonna refer to them as Aragon, uh, whether they're Android or not. So uh, just to avoid, you know, having to repeat myself and re-clarify. So the first one here is the Gauge. So this is one of the first watches that Aragon came up with that was in the 55 millimeter size, uh, which is pretty cool. They were trying to, I think, kind of follow suit with Invicta. Uh, since then, they've really changed. They've, they've changed their whole uh, their whole marketing plan around, really. They're not marketing plan, but they changed what they're making. Uh, so now, generally before, you had 50 millimeter and 55 millimeter Aragons. I'd say within the last four years, they switched from 50 millimeter to 48, like 40, uh, like 45, 50 millimeter, and in some cases like 43 and 48 millimeter. So, you know, I don't know if it's uh, if it's a smart move. I, I think it is because I do think that is uh, even though we there's a lot of us out there who like the big watches. I would probably lean more towards the fact that there's people who like normal size watches more. I think it was a wise choice. Uh, now I do think they could have, you know, continued on with the, you know, like Invicta, they kind of try to get a little piece of every part of the market. Um, and there is, there are people who love the big watches. We know it, you know. Uh, I know one YouTube influencer, I'm not going to mention his name because I don't really care for him. Uh, he had started a petition uh, on Facebook or something uh, to get Aragon to make pretty silly. Uh, Aragon's not going to make what you, a petition, like petitions are, that's a waste of time. Uh, Aragon has a research team, a marketing team, and they know what sells, and based on their sales uh, history, they know what's popular. Uh, and so, you know, I'm sure that although people, there are is a market for big watches, I'm sure some, they're selling a lot more now that they've changed uh, their, their kind of strategy. strategy. Nonetheless, we love our big watches. So 55 millimeter gauge, it's a killer watch. Uh, I love this one because it's super clean. Uh, there's, uh, you know, I know a lot of the Invictas are chronographs. Um, I'm not really, I would prefer just to have a standard basic automatic movement, no matter what automatic movement it is, um, with a clean dial. I'd much rather that than, than a, a busy dial. Um, it, again, doesn't mean I'm not gonna keep buying watches with busy dials, but I'll always kind of gravitate more towards the simple faces uh, than something with a bunch of different graphs and, and stopwatches and gauges I'm not gonna ever use. I wanna do one thing with a watch, tell the time. I don't even give a shit about the date, uh, but this does have the date. So pretty cool. Um, I will say that this watch my least favorite part of the watch is the band. I'm not really a huge fan of the band. I think they could have done better, but they stopped making it, you know? So this was kind of came out right around when the big Sea Hunters were, were kind of really starting to come on the scene. Uh, it is a killer watch. It's a big chunk of steel. Um, I absolutely love it. Again, that silver, it's a super dish to face. And this is when Aragon was making a lot of their watches with that deep dish. Uh, I'll show you one here. It's called the Charger. Nice deep dish. Uh, you know, I, I love that look. Uh, it gives a lot of dimension to the watch. Silver face, you really can't go wrong. Silver on silver, silver. Um, Aragon does use, in a lot of cases, um, kind of like this greenish color. I'm not sure what they use. Is it, let's see if I have it listed here. I don't have it listed here. Uh, it's part of the loom. It takes on kind of this greenish look. Uh, it's the only thing I don't like about Aragon watches, and they all have it. Um, I prefer something very, I don't even need the loom. But that's personal preference. Like you may love that, but I do wish they would kind of sacrifice loom and maybe change it up to something. There's other looms out there that are not greenish in tint. Um, I just don't like the way that looks. Again, it doesn't stop me from enjoying the watch, but very small gripe. Just uh, beautiful bezel on it. I mean, uh, they're all nice with all these watches, but uh, very easy to turn. I love the fact that they have kind of like a slanted gear edged bezel, very similar to the Sea Hunter. It's just a big, bold, clean watch. Uh, band on this, I think, would look killer with the Millipede band or even Shark Mesh. Uh, I have one of the Aragon Shark Mesh bands. I wish I had more. 
I think this one here is too large for what I have. I think this is 24 millimeter. Uh, no, even more. To 20, that's interesting. 20, 25, I think. What an odd size. I, I, yeah, and that, that makes sense because I actually have, I did change the band on this to a genuine Python band. Didn't look all that great with this particular watch. I got the band for free. Uh, I should have got something larger or smaller. Those bands should have got smaller for the other smaller watches I have. But again, uh, I wish they would have done a 24 lug. I, I, I'm, Aragon does on most of their watches use that 24 lug width, so you can change up the straps if you want. Uh, with this, it's gonna, you're gonna have a hard time finding straps in that size. Uh, you can find them, don't get me wrong. I don't wanna come back and be like, I know you can, I know you can. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, still a cool watch. Sorry, just look at the time here. At this rate, it's gonna take like two hours. So let me try to speed up here. So beautiful looking watch, huge. Next tank is the same watch done in a uh, different movement. This is a uh, Miyota movement with a power reserve. Uh, this one is got, obviously got the black face. Um, this watch, you know, I like it. It's a big, chunky, beautiful watch, but uh, you know, it's one that just doesn't get a lot of wrist time. I'm not sure if it's because of the busy dial. Uh, it's, it's just not one that, you know, it's still nice, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't do a lot for me like the silver one. The silver one just really has a lot more pizzazz. Um, the black bezel, it's kind of like a, almost like a, it looks like a matte kind of rhino lined bezel. It's got like a texture to it. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool, the power reserve and the different complications, uh, but just one that doesn't get worn a lot. I have this on eBay. Uh, these are very desirable, so if you guys watch this video and you are interested, um, it is almost mint. There is a slight scuff on the side of the case here. Probably can see it right there. Uh, I've only worn this maybe five or six times, but you know, they get scratched here and there, taking them in the case, especially anything mirror polished. Still a great watch, uh, and you guys know if you get it from me that you, um, you know, you're getting 100% honest uh, you know, condition, you need close up pictures, whatever. Still a cool watch. I do go back and forth with it and say, oh, maybe I should keep it, but I wouldn't mind getting another gun. So if I could take the money, put it towards something I'm really going to use more. Uh, yeah, a gun's got to sit in the safe too. So, uh, but, but uh, I just, you know, I have, I, I want more of those in my collection, but still awesome. Uh, pretty cool watch. Let me know if you're interested. Uh, next one here, another big beefy one. A couple YouTubers are going to be like, oh man because these are really hard to come by. Aragon full-size, or Android, I, I did it again, but Millipede. Uh, this is the last, I believe the last version, or second to last version of the Millipedes when they were in the big 55 millimeter. It is a tank. I'm gonna throw this on right quick. Millipede is, I mean, one of my favorite watches by Aragon. Um, it is just a tank. Uh, got that royal blue face. Again, I'm not a huge fan of blue, but in this watch, I really like it. Um, it's big, it's chunky. Um, I remember one time I was going to the gym and I went to take it off and I did something weird with my arm or the bag and this thing went flying through the air, right? I mean, flying through the air, landed right in the concrete, boom, nothing. I mean, just a quality, beefy watch. Um, I think Aragon really has it locked down with this band. The Millipede, it's a perfect name for it. It looks like a centipede going around your wrist. It is big, it's bold, it is just chunky, and this is an automatic as well. Seiko NH35, I think, in this one. Um, and these are all Seiko 35, 36, 37s. I don't know uh, without looking it up which one it is, but it's just a tank. And no, it's not for sale. If I ever did sell that, that would that would go quick. I mean, it's just, it, it, people want those. Uh, next one here is uh, one that you won't find a lot of. This is a, uh, the Capri, Caprice? No, so, sorry, Savant. So this is their Abalone Savant with genuine uh, black spinel, uh, all mirror polish. You know, it's got, you know, mirror polish is gonna get some war wounds. There's nothing you can do about it, no matter how careful you are. Uh, you know, the button side of my leather jacket scratches them. It just, it just happens working on a desk or whatever, you're, you're gonna scratch anything mirror polished. But it's a simple, clean watch, uh, basic, nothing really to write home about, automatic, but again, that face and, and uh, the abalone face just really bangs on this watch. And I like the fact they didn't put any, in the, they didn't put any loom on the indices. Just simple, clean, mirror polished, stainless steel indices. Basic, big, they want you to see the abalone. It is killer, I love this watch. This was a gift from one of my ex-girlfriends very generous gift, I'll say. Uh, I love it. it. It's still a watch I, I, I wear all the time. Uh, killer, killer watch. Um, and this is the kind of watch where I feel, when I did a video saying Aragon's kind of got a little stagnant. I know one uh, Facebooker was like, 
don't come in here and talk about Aragon, not the place, like, threaten me. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. I'll say what I want. Um, anyway, it's like, I still love Aragon, don't get me wrong. But, you know, a lot of their watches have, if you notice, a lot of their watches have pretty much using this band and case uh, on a new version. So they just are a little stagnant in some things, you know? I mean, this is, you know, this is, this is what we want to see. Uniqueness, right? Uh, and I have a few more of those, too, I want to show you. But still, a killer watch. Um, beautiful. I'll show you guys real quick here. 15 minutes. We're, we're, I'm moving along a little faster here. Oh, man. Now, this one, I believe, I forgot the size uh, on this. I think it's a 50. Usually, Aragons are 50 or 55. Now, again, they've changed it, but uh, this one, I believe, is a 50. Newer ones are going to be, I believe, 43, 48, uh, and then uh, 45 and 50. And if you guys haven't seen me before, I have a 7 inch wrist. I weigh about 180 pounds, 5 foot 7 and a half. And a half. All right, uh, next one here, I just did a review on this one here. I'm going to come back to it. Uh, Silver Jet, gold, Miyota automatic movement, 50 millimeter. Silver Jet's a killer looking watch. Got that roller bar uh, links, really help protect the band. Uh, you know, you're not going to scratch these. If you do, you're not going to see that, but it really protects the band. It's a great looking watch. I have several of these. I'm going to share these with you as well. Pretty cool. And if you guys have any questions, you know, it's easier just to drop me a comment, drop me an email. I'll give you the information. Uh, a lot of these you are not going to find though. So super old school here, taking it way back. Android. Uh, this is the original Silver Jet design. Uh, still, I mean, I didn't think they could make it better. And this is one of my favorite Silver Jet designs uh, done in that rose. And I'm not a huge rose tone guy. Love it in this. They've, they've knocked it out of the park. You have sort of a skeletonized or kind of frosted uh, exhibition windows on the front showing you the date wheel, day of the month, uh, rotating bezel. This, was, uh, this watch, when it comes down to stories, this is my Vegas watch, my Vegas pool watch. I generally wear this at the pool. Um, pretty awesome. Mirror polished. Got that beautiful, beautiful uh, kind of barrel links. Uh, it really is stunning. Uh, and, I mean, Seiko NH35 movement, killer watch. Was available in silver, rose tone, and yellow gold. Uh, I think I got the best color there. Oh, let me show you what it looks like on the wrist. Uh, and, you know, sorry if I'm missing anything. If you got, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just drop me a comment. I can, uh, I'll answer those questions. Uh, if I if you have requests and I've done the video review already, I'll, I'll refer you there uh, and you know check the, the description for any kind of links. I'll try to put links to where you might find this stuff, but you're not going to find a lot of these. Um, and some of these are you guys going to be like, oh my god, you got that. All right, so uh, next one here. Let me hit you with another. Let's see what I kind of forget what I'm. Let me hit you with uh, the original Aragon. This was one of their first, the original Silver Jet, the one I was telling you about my dad. He has this in the blue. Uh, quartz, you know, on this one here, but uh, all matte finish or brushed, brushed in matte. The original Aragon, uh, I think this was the very first Silver Jet. Uh, it is a cool watch. Case and cradle design. Forgot to mention that in the other one. Uh, pretty cool. So I know I spent a lot of time on that, but I'm trying to move a little faster here. Let's stick with that same theme. Uh, another Silver Jet. This one is dope. This is the mirror polished black and silver Seiko NH35 movement. I mean, this is just a clean watch. I mean, this is like, I mean, straight up, I don't, you know, I don't go to black tie events or anything like that, nor have I ever been invited to a black tie event. But um, none, nonetheless, uh, still an awesome looking watch, very classy. Yeah, I really like, I, you know, I've really gravitated a, a little bit from the, uh, from the gold watches. You know, I do like gold, don't. You know, I'm still going to rock gold, but um, I do like the black, you know, the black, the right black watch. Regular boring black watch, you look like a, it looks like a G-Shock. Nothing against G-Shock, but it's a very tactical, basic looking watch, right? Or should say basic, but it's a very uh, purpose-driven watch, right? Uh, I like when they do something like this. This two-tone mirror polishing, that mirror black, uh, and again, combination of the links. We have mirror polishing down the center, protected by the roller bar. Uh, we have a matte finish on the sides of the links. Matte finished bezel, uh, and then of course we get that mirror polished case and cradle design. This watch just really pops. Uh, it really is a looker. Pretty cool, and you can't get it, guys. But like I said, I'll put the link in there. If one pops them on eBay, those links will pull up those results and maybe get lucky and get one. A little break from the Silver Jets. Going deep dish, baby. Going deep on her on this one. LDS style. 
if any of you don't know what that means, check out LDS Tyrone on YouTube. You'll 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 get a kick out of it. So mirror polished, all yellow gold, deep dish enforcer. I like the fact that this watch is all gold, gold on gold. Again, uh, unidirectional rotating bezel. Have a nice thin mirror polished kind of silver ring separating the case from the bezel, and then a couple accents around the. Um, the, uh, the bezel with, I don't know if they're like little screws or decorative screws, whatever they are, with mirror polish and mirror polish crown. Uh, it's a killer watch. This is one that just doesn't get a lot of wrist time either. Uh, I remember my coworkers after they saw this, I think if I remember correctly, uh, my coworkers ended up getting one in silver, one in the gold, and another coworker, super skinny guy, uh, probably like a buck 15, buck 20. Uh, he was rocking one of these big ones. So again, it looked great. Remember guys, when people were like, oh, you gotta be a big guy. No, you don't. You can be anybody you wanna be and wear big watches. The only issue you might have is if you have super skinny wrists, uh, you know, if you're like, even if you're a female likes big watches, if you have like a four inch wrist, uh, you know, I dated a girl once, her wrists were, I mean, little bird wrists, it's the cutest little thing. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, she, you couldn't downsize this enough. Uh, but again, these do downsize pretty far. Most males are going to be able to wear something like this, and it looked great. Um, now, unfortunately, some of those people do do things for the approval of others, and, uh, you know, one of my coworkers was like, ah, I don't wear it. He ended up selling it. Um, and the other one, I ended up selling one of his on uh, eBay just because he didn't wear it. He just kind of got into the gun thing, and uh, he was just, you know, trying to build up money for, stu for that kind of stuff. Totally cool. We, you know, we all, sometimes tastes change and what we want to collect. Um, but... Uh, so I helped him sell that on uh, eBay, uh, but you know mine, I just can't part with it. I did have another Aragon I sold with the gold and abalone, but I only wore it once, and I was like that for whatever reason I just didn't wear it, and so I was like I'm gonna get something else with that. So I, I ended up getting a gun, but still an awesome watch. This one I probably won't part with. Generally, I only sell the ones that have um, that are pretty rare. If I if I don't wear it and it's something I feel like I can definitely sell. I'll throw it on eBay, but it has to be mint condition. And this one here, from the mirror polish, you know, finish, uh, it's got a lot of fine scratches. I mean, in the video, it looks great. I love it, but um, I'm not going to sell that to anybody because you just get involved. You can't show every defect with a picture. Uh, you really have to see it in person, and I'm just not going to get involved in the back and forth. Well, you told me this. It's easier for me just to not, just not deal with it. All right, so again, my favorite silver jet, the, the silver on silver. This one here is, in my opinion, the, the best silver jet they've ever done. It was the first one. It was the first Aragon as part of my collaboration deal with them. I did buy it, but they gave me a killer deal on this. It was like 50 bucks. Uh, you know, and that doesn't happen. After that, they were like, man, we gotta make some money on this guy. So uh, those deals were gone. They were like, oh, it's a one-time deal. I was like, man, like I'm doing this for free, yo. <laughs> but anyway, uh, pretty awesome watch. I love, again, the green indices. Uh, they don't show up as much. They kind of blend that beautiful silver um, face, I mean, again, mirror polishing, matte finish, satin finish. I mean, you got it all in this watch. It is just a super, I mean, I love this watch. Clean, I mean, again, clean is the best way of describing this. It's just clean, it blings. Again, these links are protected by those roller links. Uh, you're not gonna get any scratches on those. They're gonna stay nice and shiny and nice and mirror polished. Uh, it's, a, it's a great design. It's one of Aragon's best designs. Almost my favorite Aragon watch. I mean, I go back and forth with what I'm going to show you next. And these are automatics as well, Seiko's. Again, Invicta could take a little bit of, um, little vice, not a vice, but they could take, you know, take, take a little bit of ideas from Aragon. You know, the Seiko's are affordable automatic movements. I think most people prefer the Seiko automatic movement, the NH35, uh, in their watches. I think, you know, a clean dial to me is always going to be more attractive. You may be different. All right, so the last two, and I saved, I did save the two best for last. These, good luck. These are limited editions. You ain't gonna find these. Millipedes. Oh, no. No, no, he didn't. Yes, I did. Seiko in each 35s, I think on these, and if I'm wrong, you know, I don't know, 36 or 37s, whatever it is, I think it's the 35. Uh, man, you had that beautiful, smoky, cloudy day, uh, mother of pearl face. Uh, they call it black mother of pearl, but to me, it's more of just a smoky cloud. I call it cloudy day, stormy mother of pearl. Uh, it's killer. Uh, on this watch, though, I, I will say, uh, I think a different color mother of pearl might have, for me, maybe something a little lighter, a little more pearl-like, because uh, you do have that smoky kind of a 
kind of looks. Wait, what the hell? Every time I do a video, it's like some distraction. The post person is a uh, post person is in a car getting out from the other side. Weird. I swear to God. Anyway, we've had some mail theft lately, so I just uh, I'm always looking out there. Anyway, white topaz bezel. I mean, limited edition. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, if you are, I know a couple of YouTube influencers who will see this and just be like, "Oh my God, man, why didn't I buy that?" Uh, they sold out pretty quick. This is limited number. What do I got here? Uh, does it say it does? Uh, number eleven of a hundred. So I like the fact when Aragon does a limited edition, they tend to. Uh, it's more limited. You know, when when Invicta sometimes says, oh, it's limited edition, we're making 2,000. It's like, yo, that's not too limited, man. I guess if you look at the amount of people buying the watches, I guess, but 100, that's awfully limited. Number 11, uh, it's a killer watch. It's one of the watches I wear most often. Again, it speaks for itself. I mean, any of the, any of the specs. There, you know, most of these watches all have pretty comparable specs. I mean, it's the same crystal, same materials, same clasp. Uh, sizes are very similar. So, if again, if you do have any... Uh, questions, just drop me a comment, I'll answer them. You guys know I get back to everybody almost within an hour. Uh, so pretty cool. Oh, man, I, I love that watch. So, now, I know this is not gold. This one is when I talk about black. This is what I'm talking about. This is, again, a perfect example of a black watch done right. And this is unbelievable. Mirror polished black finish. And you guys know, or hopefully you guys know black when it comes to cars. Tough to maintain, right? You really got to baby it uh, if you care about how it looks, right? This, I'll tell you, the, the finishing that they use on this Aragon is incredible. I don't know if it's the same as Invicta. I don't know. I've had Invictas that, that are all, the wear is great on all my watches. But this one really impresses me because I do wear this a lot. Mirror polish always scratches, right? Uh, this, I'm telling you, and, and black is, it's not forgiving. You see everything. I have had this watch for about, I believe about three or four years and I mean, it is, there's not, you could hardly see any scratches. It's almost as mirror polished as the day I got it. The only thing I have on here, there is a slight area right there where you can see that is either a chip, but it doesn't really feel like a chip. I just think it was a defect in the way that it played in it, but it hasn't gotten worse. It's very, it's hardly noticeable. And I tell you, this is adorable watch. It's incredible. Um, I just expect this to be a scratch monster. And really, I mean, I polish it on my rough jean, and you can barely, like, there's hardly anything. This is where you're going to scratch a watch the most. Whatever they're using on this is incredible. Uh, and what have I always said about a black watch? It's got to be something that makes it pop, otherwise it just looks like a G-Shock. If you want a G-Shock, buy a G-Shock. Don't spend money on an Aragon watch, right? Uh, I love it. The design... The band has got so many different, like, uh, you know, just the way it's designed, all these different, uh, the different shapes and the grooves. It just, the black, it just doesn't look boring. You know, it doesn't look like a silicone strap. You can just see it's unique. It's got a lot of dimension. You got these side, these side um, screws on each size. And this, you can size all the way down to nothing, right? So you plenty of adjustment. Uh, incredible. Really makes the band pop. And then you get that, again, mirror polish case, mirror polish crown. Um, and then... Again, that bezel. I love the fact that they did that bezel in a mirror polish stainless steel with the black spinel. Uh, incredible. And if you don't know what black spinel is, black spinel is a, like, it's not synthetic. It's an actual gemstone. Uh, it's a real deal thing. And you can't tell the difference between that and diamond without a jeweler's loop and some training. So uh, you why, why get a diamond at that point, you know? All prong set, incredible. These aren't unidirectional. Um, and you have that smoky, you know, stormy day, stormy cloudy mother of pearl and i think on this that color really works better um again beautiful uh just my own you know two cents um i don't i wouldn't change it but it would be cool if this was like deeper mother of pearl too a darker black but sometimes with mother of pearl you get too dark and you can't even tell it's mother of pearl anymore so i mean it's super noticeable you have all the color shifts in there it is incredible um it's a it's an awesome watch uh, you know, again, with the Aragon, with their indices, that green, the only, the only thing I don't really care about it, again, I don't think that the color of these indices um, give you enough advantage for the loom to be that way. And, you know, I don't know if the newer ones have that, but it is something that Aragon uses. Uh, but, um, it, you know, it's still fine. It's not a big deal. They, I, I've been eyeballing another one they have. And these are these two are 48 millimeters, so uh, quite a difference. 
between that and the big 55s. Uh, but again, I mean, you know, it doesn't always have to be big to be, you know, amazing. I mean, even though it's a much, I mean, look, look at that thing. I mean, it really kind of dwarfs it. But uh, it, this is not a small watch. This is a watch. I mean, every time I wear this, somebody's like, damn, that thing is sick. And again, the cool thing about what I've said many times when it comes to, to any kind of like rhinestone or glass or in this case, gemstone watch. It is very difficult to find high quality watches with gemstones for men that are that are good. You know, you start getting involved and I don't want to diss any brands, but like when you look at brands like Hello Ice, I've reviewed those before. There is a real difference in the quality between a Hello Ice and this watch, you know. That's a huge difference. You know, they're not most of them aren't stainless steel, they're just like an alloy. They're light, they're kind of flimsy. Um, the stones, you don't know if they're really gonna, you know, last. Uh, not that I've had any issues, but there is a real difference in quality. But there, it's a different, you know, it serves a different purpose, right? With this, you know, this, you just feel like this watch was so much more money than it was. Now, I don't know what you could find this for. Uh, the price did fluctuate. I think the cheapest I saw it was about 380 Not what I paid, of course. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's it's awesome. The only regret I have is that I didn't get the all silver one. Uh, so this one here is number, what do we got in this one? Number 98 out of 100. Got in right before, right at the end. Awesome, guys. And I am going to show you this one on the wrist because it is, I mean, oh, oh, no. Beautiful watch, guys. I mean, all joking aside, love it. If you can get it, get your hands on it. I mean, you probably won't, but it is beautiful. So anyway, guys, that's my Aragon slash Android collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. 31 minutes, tried to do as fast as I could, but uh, it is what it is. If you guys have any questions, again, on any of these watches, if I miss something, let me know. Drop me a comment. I'll answer the question. Um, I'll put links to what I can in the description. Hopefully, you can find something. I wish you all the best of luck. Um, man, I'm t just, I keep going back to black hat, black shirt, black watch. Throw a black leather jacket on this. Oh, my God. I'm kidding. Sorry, guys. You guys know I'm very passionate about what I like, and I, I love watches, and it's fun doing this because I've, I've busted out all these Aragon watches. I kind of forget that I have, and uh, man. Now, I know a lot of guys see videos like this, and you're like, oh, let me make an offer. I'm always open to offers, but I'm, I, I'm most, I wouldn't part with these two uh, gemstone, uh, any gemstone watch I have here. I wouldn't part with the Silver Jets. Uh, so, yeah, I really wouldn't part with any of them, but knock yourself out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe to the channel. Be kind to one another, and take care.